some thing. rain a little bit earlier, so maybe little that bit. helped with some of those fires. Yeah. Well, it, it did help to kind of moderate the temperatures on the south shore. North of the lake, though, mm. it was still upper 90s and triple digits. Oh. And more of us will be in those triple digit range with the possibility of tying or even breaking the all time record high at Kenner, oh. which is 102 degrees. I believe oh. it. I mean, it's been We're so be unbelievably We've hot. We've gotten close. Right. We've had a number of days so far this month, 10, in fact, of 100 plus. We also had a day back in July and in June of 100 degree temperature. So the heat main focus for us with the active tropics uh, again, very busy, but nothing at this time threatening southeast Louisiana. We have quite a bit of development out in the main uh, development region of the Atlantic Basin, also in the Caribbean and in the Gulf. And we'll take a closer look at our Gulf system as Tropical Depression 9. Earlier this morning, this was uh, classified as a potential tropical cyclone. That naming came about a few years ago, so warnings and watches could be issued. It means a system is expected to become a named storm, but it's so close to land that class classification of a PTC allows for warnings to be issued. No longer that it is now a depression with winds of 35 miles an hour, and it really is not taking advantage of the incredibly warm waters of the Gulf it is expected to strengthen a bit before moving inland. Wind of opportunity for strengthening is pretty limited because by midday tomorrow, less than 24 hours from now, it will already be on land. So what is going on? We've already said that the water temperatures in the Atlantic, of course, or the Gulf of Mexico, of course, in August are very, very warm, but when you look at water vapor, notice the moisture is kind of all over the place. There does look to be a little bit of wind shear. Now, it appears to be fairly light over the center of nine. However, away from the center, you do have some wind shear, which is kind of helping to disassociate some of those thunderstorms from the center. But what I think is more key is that we actually have some of that dry Saharan dust over the storm center, and that looks to plague the system basically through its duration in the Western Gulf. So it is so much more than just water temperatures. There's so much more factors that go into systems organizing or strengthening and it looks like it will not be taking advantage of the very warm Gulf waters. Good news for South Texas and they need the rainfall. We needed maybe a bit more than this, but hey, we'll take what we can get. Scattered showers mainly south of the city and south of the metro area, but we did get some passing showers in the city. Not a great deal of accumulation nor coverage, but again, we will take it as it kept south shore temperatures in generally the lower 90s or even upper 80s. North, though, upper 90s and triple digits. So today's high, 93 degrees at Kenner was manageable, only two degrees above the uh, average and nowhere close to the record. However, we are looking at record heat to return. So we continue with our streak of at least above normal temperatures, but for at least a day, we've gotten out of the upper 90s, and that was because of rainfall. By tomorrow, we're back into the upper 90s and triple digits, and that will take us through the rest of the week. 91 degrees right now with a dew point of 76. So while we didn't get into the triple digits at Kenner, it still feels like it. But we also had a little bit more of a breeze thanks to our Gulf disturbance. The upper ridging is not going anywhere anytime soon. In fact, it's going to build a bit more south. That may be why our temperatures soar into the upper 90s and even more triple digits. So I do think more widespread locations will be 100 degrees plus. Good news is we will see this high begin shifting off to the west. And with this upper troughing out east, that should start bringing in some little upper disturbances to one, get us out of maybe the upper 90s, but also more importantly, to bring in some rainfall. Not a great deal of rainfall, but I start bringing back at least about a 30, 40% chance of some showers Friday and on into the weekend. It'll probably be gradual to see our temperature start dropping, but again, 102 degrees would be all time records as was set back in 1980 at Kenner. Underneath that upper high, triple digit readings across the central and northern United States, and that is headed south as the upper high starts building in a little bit more over us. That will lead to those record breaking, record shattering temperatures, we'll call it. And then as the upper high shifts a bit more to the west, and we're still going to be hot, but it does look like at least a slight better chance of some showers. That upper pattern is not changing anytime soon.